Hi, uh, my name is Robin Anderson, and I'm a woodworker. I've been a carpenter, a woodworker, gosh, since about 1978. I got out of high school in 78 and decided uh, to the much dismay of my friends and family to actually um, become a, a, a craftsman. Um, so at the age of 17, I went out on the road, and basically it's funny is because that's the... Uh, the term journeyman, carpenter, actually comes from one who apprentices as a carpenter and then goes on a journey and travels to various towns and states and that's how he be becomes a journeyman carpenter by traveling with okay. his trade. So I, I did that. I traveled all around the U.S. up until I was about 24, 25 and then settled into a shop and doing woodworking in San Luis. I love to make beautiful things out of nature. I've always been inspired. By, by nature when I was a kid. A lot of my friends are out playing. I'm like looking at rocks on the way home from the bus stop. I'm bringing home sticks and leaves and rocks. My pockets are always full of stuff. So oh, yeah. now I just like to live with nature. Um, so I do, you know, woodworking, architectural millworks. I do a lot of willow. I used to live in the Sierra Nevada and I harvest willow, sustainably harvest willow and make chairs, furniture, stools. Oh, and these are things I love. So I do these things. It's, I, I, I call the series, series No More Wood, but K-N-O-W, so people like No More Wood. So let's just say, for instance, this is a piece of sycamore that I found in a throwaway pile. And when I saw it by a dumpster, I just went, oh, look at her. I mean, this is like a beautiful woman. Her arms are up. You can see her body and her hair her belly, her breast, and then even if you turn it around, she has a back. So she's still talking to me on how I would like to frame her because I want to frame her in such a way that you can see both sides of her. And this is a beautiful, this is sycamore, local sycamore. And you see all these patterns right here? This is, when I pop this out with shellac, it's going to be gold and pink and lavender in here. I mean, it looks to totally human, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, at, at the property here, there was, and, and it's ongoing as we speak, um, uh, some phenomenon that, that happens out in, in this valley. And a friend of mine had told me about uh, a Peruvian man who now lives here in San Luis Obispo, who uh, is an author and a lecturer about all kinds of interesting phenomenon, UFO experiences, things like that. So uh, Renato came out to my place and I showed him some of the things and, and we spent some time doing some hikes and some UFO sky watches and that's how we met and uh, I'm happy to say that he's my partner and we have a lot of good, good times and good laughs and I was just so grateful meeting him because he made me realize through all my experiences that I've had since I was young that um, we're not alone in the universe and I'm not alone in my experiences. So this is my shop and um, this is some willow that I've harvested pretty recently, well about a month ago. It's for chairs and screens and I like to keep it in water. It helps uh, to keep it more pliable when you're working and um, nice. yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you can harvest it this green color and in the sun it gets black and red and this is a coastal willow. I use a lot of different kinds of willow, but here's the shop. It's a little bit of a mess, but I got a bunch of projects going on. And here's a piece that I made for uh, a couple in town and it's an altarpiece, like a, for your, like a nature altarpiece. And my love about it, this is old growth redwood. This is almost like Smithsonian quality redwood. But the only way I would use uh, redwood like that is because I found it. <laughs> this is what this looked like. And it was on the way to the dump. And I saw this right here and I thought, oh my God, that's redwood. And so I sliced it on my bandsaw and I found that. It's like gold. Wow. That's I know. Awesome. So let's see how tight those grains are. That's like old growth redwood. This is pretty rare anymore. So that's a beautiful piece. 
Yeah, so this is a hand plane. Um, they've been doing it like this for thousands of years, and I went to an amazing school. I studied under Master James Crenop up in Fort Bragg, and the first thing they teach us is to make our own tools before we start making furniture. So um, this is uh, Purple Heart and Tulip Wood. I decided to make like a girl plane, you know, I thought it was pretty funny. And so basically, you know, you just use these planes to, uh, needs to be set a little deeper. What you do is I just made this little hammer, you set your iron a little deeper, you set your wedge, and you're back to work. A little deeper cut. And some of this is the my, some of my favorite thing about woodworking because you really get like this intimate kind of relationship with your tools and your wood. Well, the last thing I love to say is I feel so grateful um, to be a part of LightShare. So you guys are a, a beautiful surprise in my life. So thanks to all of you, especially Wendy and Elizabeth and. I love you all. Thank you. Because I really want to teach people that they're spinning stars, right? That's kind of like really what my passion is, 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 uh, is that, spreading the, the divinity, right? Spreading the light. And through theater, like through theater, street theater, or dancing, laughing, spinning, toning, laughing. <laughs> making cool stuff. So, um, maybe you can just record all that. <laughs>